Welcome back guys to more of this um, for Arbor DLC and this is part 2 so last time I checked we were supposed to go talk to a uh, long fellow by the way his name is really uh, let me see uh, data mm. Mm, let's help the mariner get power tools talk to long fellow okay I should be inside here Well, uh, some nice music. I got me a room upstairs over here to sleep. Let me go ahead and pick that up. There we go. You don't like people I'm at Marker across the island. Take it. That's okay. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty. <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. I'm beast mode. I got you. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone. To live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. The fog condensers, most especially. There wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? This girl's all her family has. <laughs> You'd have to be a real wretch not to give a damn. Bah! This goes against all reason. But I can get you, Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. You got a power armor, man. I don't need nothing. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. Huh. Let me go get my power armor. Um... It's in my room, right? Oh, there you go. Uh, um, in the meantime, let me go ahead and get that gun ready. I bought the gun from the vendor. This gun right here from the vendor. And I went back home and put some upgrade into it. It looks pretty dope. Lever actions. I bought, I bought like a whole lot of ammo type for it. It takes the 45-70 ammo type. Uh. Let's see what it can do. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it right here. And I got my beast mode with me right there. Should be good. Let's get inside of my beast mode. Let's see if it can one power armor. See, a lot of people don't use those, but. The way I got my Of course. You already know. Uh, Hello. I was gonna talk to him, but he just dip on me. Nah, it looks like we're going to Arcadia. Where's Longfellow? Where Longfellow go? You go. It did say follow Lang Fellow, right? Let me see. Map. With Long Fellow. So we're going to Acadia with Long Fellow. Map. Okay. Whoa, there's some enemies, man. Let's 
sit down. You guys got nothing on me. I don't need that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Crystal armor. One shot kill. That's all it take. One shot kill. I'm trying to go ahead and destroy my warbot. No matter of fact, let's take this gun. See what he had this, this. I already got that. I'll take one. Get out of my way. It's a long fellow. Oh, I guess we follow him then. Where was you at the whole time, boy? <coughs> Keep your guard up. Old man. I will. Don't stray too far. See, the fog can do a number on you. Get you on the train. I don't need the fog to do anything on me. I'm good. Already got that. Got all of that. I guess we're following Longfellow, and uh, my partner is not going anywhere. He's gonna stay with me, or I'm gonna get Paladin to dance to tag along. Cause I like Paladin. He's beast mode, and I'm beast mode, so we need beast mode to get everything done. Game trails crisscross the road, so don't be surprised if we got local wildlife to deal with. Of course, I'm ready for any local wildlife, like you said, Longfellow. Let's do it. We ain't alone. You're dead. One shot kill. One shot kill. Who's next? Who is he shooting at? Who was he shooting at? Really? So I'm guessing he's dead. We blow everything extra meat on that. Still got a ways. I got a flashlight. Holy shit, that was scary. What the fuck was that? That was scary as shit. I got a dose for everything, but that was some scary ass noise, man. Come on, man, move it. I got me and my friend, I don't need you. You're just a guide. Come on, move it. Oh, he was talking the whole time. Sorry, man. I wasn't listening. There's someone or something else here. What? What is that? Damn. She's putting in work. Who's next? Let me see what I can get from her. It's okay. But this guy. Okay. Yeah, 
his ass work, boy. Twenty percent chance, whatever. Mile of meat. What is that? Mile of meat. What's on fellow? Let's go, long fellow. Why can't I find in this little house? Yeah, sorry guys, I'm really trying to like take my time and explore. And this this DLC. So I can get some stuff. Fancy airbrush. Whoa, what about this? Okay, this is where you take a shit. <laughs> let's go. Alright, long fellow, let's go. Quiet wasn't lucky. Oh, stay down. You don't even have to get up, stay down. Gotta do none either. Anybody else? Cause the sooner you come up, the sooner I drop your ass. <laughs> Bullets. What this too? You need a bullet? Let's go. Let's go. I like that action right there. gonna say let's see spray let's go let's mess with that just for now we've seen enough it's gonna be smoke I went and bought it and just mouth the hell out of it oh what is this one more soul to the damnation old man well what have we here another rad worshiping lunatic that's what your barbs do not harm me I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two? Hell no. Go ahead and shoot her then. She ain't worth wasting ammo on. Mm. Too bad I left my hunting knife at home. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. You lying. You do know you're crazy, right? Watch yourself, mm -hmm. outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. I just want to shoot her. <laughs> Dumbass. I don't need your shit. Oh, wait a minute. I'll get that. Piece of shit. Unbelievable. Let's go. Just to let you know, I didn't mean to do that, but if these people are crazy, that's all I can say. I should have listened to him though. That was ass for me. I apologize. And we've arrived. I was being an ass. Katie has already been watching us for a good spell. If you want I want his jacket. Them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up the gear. Get some rest. Or <laughs> Just make sure if you bring in a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You say you want me to stick around and watch your back? Nah. Maybe later. 
All right. But I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together, I could think of worse things to do. All right, bro. Go home. Let me talk to this guy. Welcome to Arcadia. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Arcadia, Synthkind welcomes you, as long as you welcome us. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, I better be free because I'll shoot you down to see her. Do you think Kasumi is a sin? She's human, and she has a family waiting for her. But imagine what it means if you are wrong. If Kasumi is a sin, then she doesn't have a family. She never had one. Think about how she must feel. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you. What, what's the first memory you have? I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then. Just a single day, and then waking up alone. We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. I'm not a synth. I'm not a synth, damage. I understand. I won't pry any further. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Kasumi is usually working down below, whenever you wish to see her. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss before you go? You should know. The Institute has been destroyed. What? It's over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery, but that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? Give me anything you want, I give me. I'm in the Brotherhood of Steel. We have 
plenty to say about Sis. How dangerous they are. We're not dangerous. Better be careful, I'll shoot you all down. Tried to replace humans with my kind. They're dangerous. All we want is to live in peace. On our own. See for yourself. Walk through Acadia. Talk to my people. We aren't a threat to anyone. Uh, I hope so. Then let me hit. I'm, 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 let me see. I don't suppose there's any way you and your people. I appreciate that. I do. But judging by the reputation your leaders have, I doubt they would accept surrender, even if I wanted to offer it. Even if they would take us prisoner, we can't live in cages ever again. If you want us, fine. But we'll fight for this. For Acadia's existence. Consider my offer. Just see what we're trying to accomplish here. What have you got to lose now? Did you need anything else? Yeah, I ain't gonna be now. I ain't gonna be, you know, a bad thing. I mean, he's story though. Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, you never went out of battery. Heard that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? Huh? So everyone here in Acadia is a synth. Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. Uh, tell me more about this place, Arcadia. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can, and give them a chance to know what they really are. To embrace it. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. I don't have any grand plans for expansion. Just existing as we are now is enough. Was there anything else? I have to guess. I should get going. That's it. Of course. Perhaps we were in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. Talk to you know we kind of, three more relays uh, this week. Where's she at? I'm coming in. Help Chase, help where they have to send off here, yeah, okay. Mmm, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and help them out. I'm not going to report them yet. I don't feel like it's the right time. Let's go, I don't need no stairs. Just trip myself down, she's right there. Interesting. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. Hmm. Your parents sent me. You need to go home, little girl. They... they did what? You came all this way... for me. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me... They wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. You're not a synth. Kasumi, listen to me. You're not a synth. Believe me, I've thought about that. How you can never really know. But it just answers so many questions. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> you haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things. 
track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. All right, I'm listening. Okay, where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide and eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Step aside and let the master hacker show you how it's done. If you're sure. Good luck. Once you have something, let me know. Talk to Dima. Uh, I just go ahead and talk to him. I don't need no. Hmm. What the steel is that? Over here. Hey, I'm the new fellow, but I ain't got time to talk to you right now. Well, it's D, man. Focusing on herself, her new life. She shouldn't have to bear the burden of the outside world. Please, this is a matter best left to me and my advisors. We aren't planning to destroy the island. Those projections were merely to help us realize the cost of inaction. If this thing involves the whole island, I can be your problem solver if you let me in. I suppose there's something to be said about refusing help, even when it's offered and you're in need. There's a conflict that's been brewing on this island, shortly after we built Acadia. Between Far Harbor and the Children of Atom. Simply put, they want to kill each other, and each side wants us to help them. We've tried to stay neutral, but Far Harbor was going to be wiped out by the fog. So that's when we built the condensers for them. And I was friends with the previous leader of the Children of Adam, Confessor Martin. I even gave them their headquarters, the submarine base they named the Nucleus. Which was a mistake, because Martin is gone and the new Confessor, Tectus, is completely insane. He's been threatening us, to force us to choose a side. I left behind something very important in that submarine base I gave them. Dima's earliest memories are stored in the military computer banks in that base. Pre-war security systems and Confessor Martin's goodwill were supposed to keep them safe. But now Tectus is in charge, and he's after Dima's memories. We don't even know what's in them. But we do know that I spent nearly a century on this island alone. Whatever's in there is too dangerous to allow Technus to get his hands on them. Mm-hmm. So what can I do to help? 
If you're willing to retrieve what I've lost and bring my memories back to me, then we'd all be one step closer to solving this conflict without bloodshed. You'll have to get through the Children of Adam's base. You're new on the island, so you might be able to pose as a recruit. Then, once you get to the memory banks, you'll have to use a special program Dima and I have been working on to break through the security systems. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. Okay. So how does this program work? There will be a fairly ordinary looking terminal. I got you. Attachments. The program will give you access to the terminal. Once you attempt to obtain a memory, your perspective might shift a little. Just relax then. Program will explain things to you as you need them. Okay, then I got it. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre war defenses have kept the children of Adam at bay, but that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, They'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. Yeah, I try not to. But uh I don't have that much patience and uh I like to run and gun things and I guess I'm gonna have to go ahead and be careful. Uh, I got no business in this room. I don't need to hack the computers because I already touched. I got I got too many stuff. Yeah, this is just that. Let's select it. Is she downstairs or something? Oh yeah, she downstairs. Boom! Shakalaka. Where is she at? Oh, that's her. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. Afraid of what they're gonna find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's looking for. Is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's... Yeah, I don't think you know what you're talking you. about. You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. Okay. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. I got five hundred cap. You have any trophy where you belong. It's okay. My updated best left for gun. Gain access to Dimas terminal. Well uh in that case we go upstairs and uh let me see. I assume you're not this gonna stay long. I'll probably be leaving soon. You gotta That's be mean so. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth, without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. 
Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. You must have tons of friends with this attitude. I don't need friends. You can be an asshole. It's okay. I can be an ass too. But it's sarcastic. It's alright though. But alright guys, what what is this? Oh he's just he look like somebody. Okay. But alright guys, uh I'm gonna call it a quit for now. And uh when we come back we will be doing, you know, all the side missions, you know, help chase, help for a day. And uh we're gonna do that one, the blood tide and those. You know, those are the first one I'm gonna do. Because um we 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 you know the people of Far Arbor. Since I talked to them first, I'm a, I want to go help them out first, and then I will go, you know, with the Kedians, you know, help the Saints out, and see how it goes. But uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and see what he got for.